and the amount. If I click pay, they get to know something is going on because uh, the text changes to please wait. And if there's a success, they'll be able to get the message right there. Also get that SDK push. Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. So we are going to talk about user experience and how it affects your web app and how users will be able to actually perceive it. So the first time we made uh, an implementation using the Raja, it was okay, but there was one fundamental issue with it. So let's just look at, look back at what exactly we had created. So if I go into that particular tutorial, so this was it, this was the particular tutorial, but the issue here was actually uh, that if I maybe enter the amount and enter the phone number and hit on pay, I would essentially get redirected to the particular page that was going to handle uh, that particular payment. And of course, I would still get the SDK push. But the issue here was that uh, if I was the user, this is not ideal for me to see uh, because this is something that I should only be seeing as the developer and the user should be seeing something a bit more streamlined. So because we are using PHP, then we had an, as an uh, SDK initiate.php page where we would handle all the logic for initiating the SDK push. So today I'm here to show you a new way to do this. You can actually uh, use Ajax, which means that you'll be able to actually submit this form and handle all that, receive all the messages, whether it's a success or an error, and be able to display it to the user. So the implementation for that is actually uh, right here. So let me just visit that. And you'll notice the significant uh, difference. Okay. Uh, let me just let me check that. This is the implementation uh, with Ajax. So as you can see, the user interface is also a bit different here. And you get to see that uh, once the user maybe uh, enters their phone number, like so, and the amount, if I click pay, they get to know something is going on because uh, the text changes to please wait. And if there's a success, they'll be able to get the message right there. Also get that SDK push and the amount, if I click pay, they get to know something is going on because uh, the text changes to please wait. And if there's a success, they'll be able to get the message right there. Also get that SDK push. So let me just go ahead and maybe use uh, this particular uh, format. So of course, please wait. And um, I expect an error message from this one. So as you can see, error, bad request, invalid phone number. So as you can see, we never really left this page, but we're still able to handle uh, the logic for payment and we are able to update the user about what exactly is going on. So at least this user has a better user experience. Uh, everything seems to be uh, working fine. And the user is able to know what exactly is going on with the state of the transaction and all that. So I'm not going to get uh, too much into this. Let me just show you uh, how exactly uh, you implement this. So as you can see, the index.php page where we would usually uh, initiate this payment. So first of all, you will need to have this uh, this Ajax, yeah, sorry, not the Ajax, this jQuery uh, CDN right here that you'll be able to use this. So first of all, I'm going to prevent uh, the default submission, which would redirect me to that mpesa.php uh, page. Then I'm going to uh, create this text and disable it for now. Then what I'll do, I'm going to get the values uh, from the particular input fields using JavaScript, and I'm going to set this into an array. So now what I'll do is I'm going to actually uh, communicate with my mpesa.php. I'm going to use post 
Then I'm going to get this data that was in an array and stringify this. And then I'll be able to send this particular data to the mpesa.php page. So there is this uh, constant, which is the response. So we are actually waiting to get the feedback from uh, the code from mpesa.php to know what exactly uh, went on with the transaction. So as you can see, if there is, there is a response and the response code is zero, I'm, I'm now sure that this is a success and there was an SDK push. So I'll be able to show this user uh, through this, this is a div that I've given the ID uh, of uh, feedback. So they'll be able to see an a success alert. And of course, I'm getting from the response, I'm getting the, the actual message and displaying it back to the end user. So uh, from the mpesa.php page, uh, I'm able to receive this uh, data. So as you can see, I'm getting the uh, variable data right here. Then I'm going to use that particular array and then just pass in the, those uh, particular details right here. So as you can see for the phone number part A, I'm getting the first argument. So the first index, which is zero, that will be the phone number. And that is what I'm passing here. And for the amount, also the first index were in the arguments, which is uh, the amount, because we don't really have uh, uh, such an array. We only have uh, two values here. We only have the phone number and the amount. So this particular mpesa.php page is able to receive data directly uh, from the index uh, by the help of uh, uh, Ajax. So yeah, this is the particular code that is actually able to make uh, this particular uh, user interface possible. So I've gone ahead and, uh, and left you that particular repository right here. So if you visit my GitHub profile, I will leave the link down in the description box below. You'll be able to find uh, that repository right here. So MPESA SDK push with Ajax, that is the repository right there. And go ahead, uh, you can go ahead and follow me also on GitHub and you'll be able to find some pretty useful repos right there. So yeah, this was a very quick short tutorial to show you guys how you can be able to leverage your user interfaces and make it a bit more friendly for the user, a bit more enjoyable for the user. And also you don't want to be showing any user uh, this particular data. This is not ideal. This was just for the tutorial. If you're going to implement this, go with something like this. So yeah, this was a quick tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, I'm glad that you guys watch this video. Subscribe, like, and share. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.